was a definite journey. Wait, was this because of an allergy? Oh, no, no, no nothing like that. Oh, that's good. I hope you're still concerned. There's a lot of food that has gluten. a beautiful voice, a nice laugh, no irritating quirks, and a good enough personality. She's perfect, right? And I love that she doesn't despise me like your other girlfriends. Why isn't Catherine with one of these handsome, wealthy guys then? Because she doesn't want the good-looking studs. She wants you. She loves your old-fashioned sense of chivalry. You're a gentleman. All right. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh my god, Alex! Uh, it's stunning! It's my grandmother's. Wow. When are you gonna give it to me? What's going on in here? Uh, uh, um, Michael's had too much to drink. I have to ask you, Lily. How did you know that Michael was the one? That is a very good question. And I think I know where you're going. Okay. I discovered when you have to make a tough decision, you do it from the heart. And now most people think the heart is purely an emotional organ, but it's not. It's actually quite cold and unemotional. It's logical, but it knows what's best more than the brain sometimes. You just, you have to know what you want in a man. You could even write it down. He is not going to propose. Yes, he is. You and Dave are so different. Yeah, he's one of those friends you inherit from childhood. They're for life. I'm sorry. Remember Catherine's brother, Gary? A weird guy? Getting married. Maybe I could bring you. Proposing to Catherine tonight. Oh, I hope she doesn't say no. I've never had anyone say yes. Alex, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You take me seriously. You listen to me. You think I'm smart. You make me laugh. I thought about this methodically on my heart. I wrote it down. And what I'm trying to say is, I really think we can have one of those great relationships of all time. You know what would really be the icing on the cake? No. If we could finish this in time for Gary's wedding. That's perfect. You know why? Because everybody's gonna be there. All your friends, your relatives, your family members, everybody that's important in your life. But what she's saying is she wants to marry you. A woman would give a guy a list like this unless she wanted to be with him for the rest of her life. And every woman has a list. She just wrote it down. The teeth whitened. A woman gave me this list. This is what I would say to her. You do know if I make these changes, I won't love you anymore. I love you because you love my faults. If I fix them, I'd have to raise my standards and you won't make the cut. Now, do you really want to hand me that list? Men expect women to be perfect, like all the time. You expect us to have perky tits, firm asses, and perfectly symmetrical facial features. And then you expect us to have your kids and then have our bodies go back to looking great. And we're not allowed to age, not a sack, not a wrinkle. So do not tell me Catherine did anything wrong. Alex, everybody has some weird shit. I guess I guarantee you she does. Like what? How about that she gave you a list? This is my life, okay? I'm never gonna find another girl like this. Yes, that's 100% true. What's with the plastic furniture, man? It's inflatable. I can pack this up and be out of here in 10 minutes if I have to be. We're allowed 
to be like this. After 40, it starts to get pathetic, but we're still okay. A husband should be able to support a family. So, Gary, excited about the big day? What big day? Your wedding. He's thrilled. The reason we came here is for the teeth whitening. I'd like to discuss what kind of white you'll be using. White? Well, there are other shades and intensities and... Um... Is it polar bear or nebulous? I think it's nebulous. Definitely nebulous. <laughs> outstanding! Look, it's outstanding! Outstanding, huh? <laughs> now you don't need... Weeks for Gary's wedding. Very fun and a no-brainer. Upgrade wardrobe. You have this great, perfect body for clothes. Let's show it off. <laughs> How about we play a match? Terrific idea. That's all right. I think we'll come back. Absolutely. Let's do this. To keep our relationship fresh, we should go out every week. Explore the city, do different things. It would be like a first date each time. Special night out every week. But with each relationship, your idea of love changes. You know, it's unconditional love. Oh my God. It was my grandmother's. It's gorgeous. Ah! Alex just proposed to me and you've ruined it. What a great friend you are. How beautiful it is. Mm. My mom went crazy. She loved it. My dad, so impressed. Scotch is the most important drink. If you're out with a coworker, you order scotch. Neat. Doesn't matter what kind. If you're with a boss or a client, you ask for a Macallan 12. That's a Sacatini, Cosmopolitan, Lemon Drop, Pomegranate Martini. Mm. All these drinks are pretty Gay, but for some reason women love it. Another man's family, Alex. Go get your own. I am. I proposed to Catherine. This is great. Yeah. Let's drink to Catherine. Thank you, God, for Catherine. And getting married. Who's going to be your best man? Me? A time to explore what you have with Catherine. It's silly, but use the list as a catalyst to move your relationship to the next level. And for the first time in my life, Alex, I, I felt completely able to be myself. I felt freer. Uh, I felt freer with her than I ever had as a single man. We have an authentic relationship. And this is what you should have with Catherine. This is the foundation that we built our relationship on. But you have to do this without family interference, without all the bells and whistles, friends, money. This is what I wish for you. And we laugh. <laughs> As you share this one cup of wine, you undertake all the future brings. All the sweetness life brings will be that much sweeter because you drink from it together. wise person told me that you must live an authentic life. I believe if we 
let this wedding go forward. It is true. And I'm sorry, Gary. But I'm in love with someone else. <laughs> Settle down, everybody. Settle down. Now look, <laughs> we came here to enjoy a beautiful ceremony. Celebrate the joining of two lives. And I'm paying for it. So, somebody here is getting married. You two. Wait. Antonio, you're a good man. It's not going to happen with my daughter. Go get a drink. Alex, Catherine, you two love each other. Now, let's get on with it. Give me just one moment. Okay. One moment. As you share this cup of wine, you undertake all that the future may bring. All the sweetness that life brings will be even sweeter because you drink from it together. together this imagined person that just doesn't exist inside of me. What are you doing here? You called her, didn't you? Yeah. She's my best friend. I thought I was getting married today. I wanted her to be here. You couldn't even decide to marry me. Catherine, I just told her to come. I didn't tell her we were getting married. Look, you didn't get the girl, but you got your dog back. And you are now a well-read, well-dressed, handsome June with sparkling white teeth who likes football and knows good scotch. Huh? 